Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Frigidaire refrigerator ice maker assembly. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new ice maker assembly. The ice maker assembly is located in the freezer and it makes the ice. The main reason you'd be changing it out is if it's failed and you'd rather change out the whole assembly instead of the individual pieces. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the freezer door. Now that we have the door open, we can reach in and take the ice bucket out. All you have to do is lift up on the front and then pull it all the way out. Now that we have the ice bucket out of the way, we can take the ice maker assembly out of the freezer. Some models have a screw down here at the bottom. Ours has the bracket, but it doesn't have a screw. If you have one down here, you're just going to use the quarter inch nut driver to take it out. If not, you can loosen up the upper two. You don't have to take these two upper screws out. You just have to loosen them enough so we can lift the ice maker out. Once you have the two upper screws loose, we can lift the ice maker off the screws and we're going to rotate it over. You want to make sure that the fill tube comes out of the fill cup. Then we can rotate it over and disconnect the wiring harness. It's just held in by a couple locking tabs. So all you have to do is squeeze the locking tabs to release them and separate the two halves. Once you have that separated, we can pull the ice maker assembly out of the freezer. Here's the old ice maker assembly next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. We do have to swap over this bracket where the screw goes. It's on the bottom and just held in by a quarter inch screw. Even though ours didn't have a screw in it, we're going to take this off and swap it over because this pushes against the wall and supports the ice maker. So all you have to do is use your quarter inch nut driver to take out the screw and swap it over to the new one. To put it on in the new ice maker, we're just going to line it up so the screw hole is lined up with the scratches on the old bracket. And when you put the screw in, it may be a little bit harder to turn. These are self-tapping screws. So you've got to cut the threads as it goes into the ice maker. Once you have the bracket installed, we're going to take a look at the wiring harness. Some of the newer models may have this little cover that snaps into the back wall. We're not going to use it on ours, but we're not going to cut it off. We're just going to leave it on there. Once you're ready, we can put the ice maker into the freezer. To put the new ice maker assembly in, we're just going to carefully feed it back into the freezer and grab the wiring harness. It can only go on one way, so make sure you push it on all the way so you get a good connection. Once you have the wiring harness snapped together, you can snap this cover on if your model uses that. If not, we're going to rotate the ice maker over. And as you do, you want to make sure that the wiring harness stays on the little mounting tab and that the fill tube goes into the fill cup. Once you have it in place, you can set it on the screws. Make sure the wiring harness is clear and out of the way. Once you have it in place, we can use the quarter inch nut driver to tighten down the screws. Once you have the two upper screws tightened down, if you have one on the lower point, you can put it back in. Once you have that in, we can put the ice bucket back in. All you have to do is set it on the rails and push it all the way in. Once you have it in place, you can close the freezer door, plug the refrigerator back in, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by appliancepartspros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.